Hello team and welcome back to another Line War cast. It is a 3v3 today between Alpha Team and Bravo Team as always. On Alpha Team is Yan in blue, Snow in red, Evil Lobster in orange, and on Bravo Team, Super Crumpets in teal, Cryptosporinium in pink, and Basantos in green. Alpha Team is all going in the bottom. We see Evil Lobster on the bottom left, Snow in the bottom middle, Yan right beside them, bridging this this uh, this water territory with the the refinery immediately or the the energy source, and then on on uh, Bravo team we got Cryptosporinium in the center here, Basanto spawning directly beside them, and Super Crumpets to the top right. So it looks like immediately it will be a little bit of a three v two situation with Basantos and Cryptosporinium in the center here, potentially taking on all three of Yan, Evil Lobster, and Snow. And Super Crumpets in the top right will have a little bit of time to build up economy and, and cap a bunch of territories. Two factories, a town, a port, and a dock from Yan, who looks to be going across to this right-hand side of the map immediately. And this is where Super Crumpets, Super Crumpets part of me, has kind of spawned with two airports and building a refinery immediately and a depot to start collecting that energy. Snow's got a very heavy factory play. Three factories, all going artillery at the moment. Two barracks. And Crypto is matching that with four factories of their own. A barracks, a, a farm, and a town. Basantos has a, a town and a factory going on. An airport for Evil Lobster. And four factor, or rather three factories and a barracks. And the, and the first contact of the game is between Snow, Cryptosporinium, and Basantos. Just a handful of infantry duking it out. One of my favorite parts of the line war is the, these opening infantry engagements and how players kind of set up the next part of the game with the first little bit of infantry. Snow is pushing a bunch of units through this little gap and will get into conflict with Crypto in this mountain range very quickly. Really, when it comes down to it, I probably expect that there's going to be a lot of fighting in this part of the map the whole game. Basantos on the left-hand side might end up fighting Evil Lobster if Evil Lobster decides to push units straight north from where they started. There's one helicopter done for Evil Lobster. There's another one on the way. And a fourth factory for Orange. And Super Compass is going to have a lot of planes because of these four airports. So far, all building helicopters. We can probably expect that these next two airports will also build helicopters. Crypto's got a second refinery. Or pardon me, Super Crumpets has a second refinery that's relatively close. This is actually another refinery that Super Crumpets is taking. So Crumpets will have a lot of helicopters and enough gas to run those helicopters. We'll see if Crypto, or pardon I keep saying Crypto when I mean, mean to say Super Crumpets. If Super Crumpets can use those four airports, all building helicopters, to help out their teammates at this point in the map. It'll take a while for the helicopters to move down. They'll probably need to take at least one jump to this location in the forest, and the second jump will get them into the action. Helicopters, their strength, of course, is that they can land anywhere on the map that your team has control of a territory, but their range is not as far as strikers or bombers. And in general, we just watch this develop to start the game. Four artillery pieces done for Crypto in the mountain range are such a huge thing. It's not really like Alpha Team can then push through this mountain range now that there's four artillery pieces here. Yan has three artillery pieces of their own, but they're not really in the fight. And Crypto starts to build a, a port on this town. For now, Snow is going to kind of dig in in this location, in this choke, which is really smart if if Crypto were to push through this. 
at the moment, Crypto's fighting on two sides, right? In this, this mountain range to the right, and then in this kind of forest to the left-hand side. Which is good for Alpha Team, putting pressure on both sides. But Santos is going to dig in, partly in the mountain, in front of this town. Pretty strong spot to dig in, really, if, if Green can get the units filled up in that defensive line. It'll be difficult for Evil Lobster to actually push through that. And very slowly, Crypto's going to start digging in in the mountain range. This is a great defensive position. Because of that bonus that units get when they dig in in mountain ranges. And the first Sam's for Crypto already has two. Pink is building a third Sam. This will be really good against these three helicopters that Evil Lobster has. At least it'll make it so Evil Lobster can't really send the, the helicopters towards this part of the fight because of where these three Sams are. They'll have to go up to the north to deal with the Santos. And we can check out how many helicopters that Super Crumpets has. It is bombers now. The switch to bombers. All four airports building bombers after these first, whatever it is, six helicopters that Crumpets has built. And because of the opener, we really expect that Krumpus will just have a, a huge air force in this game to help out the Brava team teammates try to defend this at the moment. Crypto's got a good enough uh, amount of artillery in the mountain range to the right that this is pretty locked down. It's not like Crypto is able to expand to the right, but definitely won't like lose to a push through this mountain range. The one in the the forest is also going quite well, and here come these helicopters from Evil Lobster. First three launching off the airport, and the first refinery being built for Lobster. And this is probably why these helicopters didn't get in the, the fight to begin with. Because there was no refinery for Orange quite yet. Four helicopters, if there was no refinery, they'd very quickly burn through all the energy. That orange had to start the game. There is a rocket on the way for Basantos. This is the location of this rocket. If we go top down, and this is how much territory both teams have capped, the, the rocket is in a very central location. So it'd be able to deal with a big push through this mountain ridge to the right, through the forest, the mountain ridge to the center, and then also to the left hand side. So if Basantos can build this rocket, it will be very strong. Four helicopters do a great job to clear out this defensive line. And this prompts a switch to at least some Sams for green. One is done, a second is on the way. And for now, the, the position for Crypto is really a defensive posture. Obviously digging in in the central location. And, and lost this fight in the mountain range, but if, if Pink were to group up a bunch of units here by the barracks, it would still be very difficult, I think, for Blue to push through this because of how situated these Pink artillery pieces already are on this approach. It's not like Red's going to be able to put, punch through this. There's no air support. Even if there was air support, some of these Pink Sams are pretty close to be able to defend this. Clearly, Alpha Team's helicopters are on the left-hand side. This is a very scary army. This is a lot of orange units off of these four factories to start off with. So Basantos might be in a little bit of trouble. The rocket is one third of the way done. It's on the stand now. The beep beep we hear is that Yan is out of energy. Building on the right hand side. I was warned in this game that there's, there's three distinct fronts. So we'll have to keep up to all the action. These bombers are big for Super Crumpets. There are Sams on the way for Yan. But for the moment, the, these bombers are doing a great job to pick off all this infantry and stop them from pushing too hard. Yan is going to double down and build another factory here. Big problems for Brava Team right now are, is, is this push on the right-hand side that's threatening Crypto's base, and then also on the left-hand side, threatening Basantos' base, and the rocket. If we actually look at Alpha Team's vision, the rocket launch, the, the rocket pad, pardon me, the launch pad, whatever the heck we're gonna call it, is actually in vision. It is exposed. 
So Alpha Team knows this is here and this is the response is that evil lobsters are going to click on this building in an attempt to destroy that, that launch pad before the rocket can be built and obviously launched. Yan's building missile boats, out of energy at the moment, also building a city. So this is huge for Blue and their econ in this game. And these are your two big fights in the bottom right and the top left of the picture. Crypto clearly going to hold this after directing all of the artillery pieces for a little bit to the right hand side. Pink is going to send some artillery pieces up to the left to help the Santos who's in a little bit of trouble. Some of the artillery pieces are dug in and they're doing work. But the question is whether this will be quick enough. Orange has just clicked on this building. So the orange units will want to just go towards the launch pad. They're not gonna stop to fight anything else unless those other units are directly in their way. Here comes Crumpet's helicopters to the rescue. In a valiant defense of the launch pad. If Besantos can get this rocket up, it is a pretty big deal. It, it's, as mentioned before, it, the range of this thing is, is quite impressive. Definitely can stop a lot of attack. All three of these routes to the left, through the center, and through the right. Yan now has a, a refinery that has been built, so the boats can start moving. And Crumpet's still on these four airports, three refineries, and a depot. Crumpets and Besantos are able to defend this launch pad. The rocket is two-thirds of the way done at this point. There's a slight chance that Evil Lobster could potentially click these helicopters onto this launch pad to try to just attack it directly. Although they might be slightly out of range to do this. And at this this point, the rocket is going to get launched. It is completed. Besantos can launch this if, as long as they have 20 energy saved up. That's the cost of launching a rocket. And here it comes. And on the right hand side... Alpha Team actually doing a very good job. It's it's still technically a 1v2 on the left-hand side. It's just Crypto against both Snow and Yan. So first rocket lands kind of alleviates some of the pressure for Besantos. Besantos might be able to counter push here. The amount of helicopters that Evil Lobster has is a little bit frustrating, probably. Because there's not really enough SAMs for Green to, to deal with all those planes. And this is still an enormous problem. There's a lot of artillery pieces here. And Crypto might have to vacate this defensive line to send artillery pieces over to deal with this. And good coordination from both Snow and Yan. To push at the same time. So Crumpet says, stabilize this position a little bit. Certainly stop Blue from pushing immediately, but Yan has another factory on the way. It'll be three barracks, four factories for Yan to push up the right-hand side. And the only things that defend this really are four, four airports. All building bombers at the moment for Crypto. Rather, one of the airports is building helicopters. And the nice thing now, by going helicopters, is that Crypto has a lot of, pardon me, Crumpets has a lot of helicopters that are already down in the south, in a good position to defend. And so the rest of the planes can really focus on, on Yan's army in the bottom right. And uh, I'm probably going to call Crumpets Crypto once more. And I apologize. That's all I can say, is I apologize profusely. Here comes the Crumpets helicopters. A lot of buildings from Crypto go down, so Crypto only has this one factory left. Very difficult position for Bravo Team at this point. We, I, it's very difficult to kind of check the ecos of both teams. But certainly it would feel like Alpha Team is, is, has a little bit of the like pace advantage here. 
the momentum's on their side. Not then this is a huge part of it is that Yan is now starting to commence this push on the right hand side, which is a, a very big deal. It'll be difficult for Crumpets to deal with all of the, those units just on four airports. The Crumpet helicopters defend the last building for Crypto. But Pink's certainly in a difficult position because Pink has very little economy at this point. There are some territories up here that Crypto has capped. I'm building a farm and a town on it. And we do see that, that Crumpets has an airstrip with bombers closer to the front lines. The other thing that's going for Bravo Team at the point at this point in time is that Bisantos has another rocket almost done. The cap is going on now. Green can launch that at any time. But I don't really see how Crumpets is going to defend this. Because there's already uh, six Sams here. Six blue Sams. So to deal with what is going to be about eight bombers or so, the Sams will do a decent job. Six Sams definitely enough to at least make the bombers hurt a little bit. And a little bit of a stressful situation on the left hand side for Bravo Team as well. Evil Lobster has a lot of artillery pieces here. A great amount of SAMs to deal with any helicopters that wanted to go this way. Blue will certainly pick up one refinery and will very likely pick up another refinery as well. We're watching the effectiveness of the blue SAMs. Rocket is still on the launch pad for Besantos and top down. Pretty much a split map at this point in time. Probably a little bit more territory cap for Bravo team rather than Alpha team. But that might change given what's going on on the right hand side of the map. The helicopters will take the fight against these orange SAMs. And they all jump in pretty like at the same time so this is relatively okay it's not like the helicopters kind of filtered in one by one so they take out a decent amount of the sams but the cost of nearly all of the helicopters and in fact yes it will be all of the helicopters there's four more sams for orange that are showing up just in time to deal with the rest of the helicopters good move by evil, evil lobster to send this raiding party on that town that will definitely go down and unfortunately for these bombers they're taking fights against these missile boats that are in this little lake at this point Yan stopped boat production makes a lot of sense because there's enough missile boats here I mean at this point maybe blue would want to build some more missile boats but in general how much money that blue put into these units have done a fantastic job for how much money that Teal's put into the bombers, if that makes sense. Because look how far that Yan's been able to get up the right hand side. This is this is probably gonna knock Crumpets out of the game. Crumpets has five bombers on this this airstrip, so this airstrip is full, but on the airports at home, there's not that many planes, and there's still a lot of SAMs for blue. And even some tanks for Yan at this point. Here comes the second rocket from Besantos. The pink Sam is kind of moving in position to deal with these helicopters on their way home. So good pickup by Crypto. And the rocket goes close enough to the town to destroy it. As well as take out some of the units for Orange here. Great teamwork from Crypto and Basantos in these defensive lines. And Crypto adding more factories and airport now for Basantos here. In a very safe location. 
But what on earth is is Crumpets going to do against this army? It's it's tough to tell because there's not there's no way that any other Gravitine players are going to be able to help out Crumpets in the top right. It's just a little bit too far away. So all these four barracks, it's really just two barracks that are completed, but two more on the way for Crypto. There you go. I called Crumpets Crypto again. Crumpets sending all these infantry up to the top. One airport has already gone down. It's a switch to helicopters in the, the airports. I wonder if this is because as soon as air, uh, helicopters are done, Crumpets can move these helicopters off the airport so they don't get destroyed if blue were to destroy the airports this might be why i have no idea it, it could be it could just be because crumpets wanted to build helicopters at this point given the situation but if if crypto or geez if crumpets had the idea to to build helicopters instead of bombers so that the helicopters get off the airport for the airports destroyed that's pretty top tier play in my opinion because the amount of times that I've lost an airport and then all my planes on it explode. Tragic. Yan is cleaning this up and Yan will take the entire right hand side of the map. Crumpets is going to have to rebuild somewhere else. Another rocket being created for Basantos. It'll be difficult for Green to actually push through this mountain range and th this forest. Because the defender's advantage will kick in for orange the closer that green gets to Evil Lobster's base. And here it's just a matter of time before Bravo Team, or rather Alpha Team, overwhelms this position and destroys all of these factories. Crypto's gone full tanks. And it's actually kind of interesting because I'm not really sure where the energy source for crypto is and as I say this crypto puts down a power plant to keep the tanks running tanks very effective but clearly the best unit on the ground in the game at the moment not even close in a straight-up fight tanks are gonna do very very well so maybe if crypto can keep building tanks and, and get enough energy to run them this could be a good way for pink to turn this around and for Bravo team to turn this around. But by this point, Yan's all the way to the north, destroyed everything. There's a lot of helicopters left over for Crumpets, and there's not that many Sams for Blue. So that's a that's very good news for Bravo team. Yan's building helicopters out of this airport, which will be able to reach this refinery for Crumpets. Tank trying its best to fire at helicopters. Hilarious. Love to see it. But I think given the situation, it'll be kind of difficult for Bravo Team to bring this back. Alpha Team certainly with the advantage, the pace advantage as well. Another power plant goes down for Crypto and Basantos is launching the third rocket of the game. This might do a lot of damage. It could it if it hits in the perfect spot, it will destroy everything that orange has here. Pretty good. It destroys all the artillery in the front. This might give Basantos an opportunity to push because there are a lot of, of Sams here for green. Certainly enough to be able to deal with all the helicopters that Evil Lobster has built. Still a little bit of a problem. That crypto is facing in this mountain range accentuated by the fact that there's two infantry for red that are on top of this this factory which usually wouldn't be a big problem but now that there's a tank out maybe the tank will be able to defend it but in general there's nothing really at home for pink to be able to dis defend against these annoying little infantry Crumpets is, is doing the best thing possible in this situation, which is just rebuilding their base further back. Crumpets now has seven barracks, I can count, up and pumping out infantry.
still a very big problem though. There's a this is a lot of, of artillery for red. That continues to threaten crypto's base. The push on the left hand side, really when it comes down to it, I think orange is gonna be able to defend this. Just based on how many producers there are. This is seven factories for Evil Lobster. Fighting one, two, three, four, five, six sort of factories from Basantos. And there's really no answer for how many artillery pieces that snow has this close to Crypto's base. Second airport for Yan on the right hand side, that is probably not a good sign for Bravo team. And top down, the difference in this game really on territory is, is the right hand side and how much Yan has been able to cap there. Here comes the push from red. These are attack lines. The artillery pieces are no longer going to wait to start capping the territory. They are just going to keep pushing and attacking. This is overwhelming numbers advantage for red. Very difficult for pink to be able to do anything. Basantos is, is clearly uh, preoccupied on left hand side. Everything that green has really has to go into this fight against orange. It's tough for green to be able to help out pink in this situation at the moment. And then of course, Crumpet's also in the same boat fighting Yan entirely. Crumpets will be able to defend this. There's enough helicopters here and there's not enough Sams for blue to fight this off. It's just whether Crumpets will be able to successfully counter push down the right hand side to take this territory back before Crumpets, or pardon me, geez, Crypto is eliminated from the game. And I don't think it's possible. The tanks for pink are taking a fight. They will do very decent against artillery. It's just the the numbers are, are certainly out of Pink's favor here. There's just enough red artillery. There's another rocket for Basantos on the way. This will take a while to build. Very interesting game three fronts. Because this was, this was actually Panda who posted this in the Match Replays channel of the Discord. So props to Panda for posting this game. They said there were three fronts to watch, and they weren't lying. Somehow Yan actually has a, a bunch of artillery here. Crypto is out of the game. Crypto... Jeez. That's, that's about the sixth time that I've called Crumpets Crypto. No idea why. But Crumpets is out of the game. Crypto is still here. GG. Well played. Let's look at some graphs. Let's see how close this was. Empire value says nothing. I mean, it says a little bit, but income is more in, in, in interesting for me, at least. And there you go. Very close. Where, where is energy? Energy production... And income for all the players. GG. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the Line War Discord if you'd like to learn more about the game. Chat with folks. See what's up. Hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, whatever it is. See you around. Peace.